Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's Fast Tip video, I'm going to try to emphasize the fact that auto numbers are not for you. I've done several different videos on this topic, but I keep getting asked this question almost daily from people that have all kinds of questions and things about auto numbers. So let me try to say this one more time, and I'll give you a few reasons why, that auto numbers are not for you. Now, I teach all about what auto numbers are and how to use them in my Access Level 1 class, my Beginner Level 1 class. So if you haven't watched this yet, it's four hours long, it's free, go watch it. Even if you think you've been using Access for a couple of years and you know everything there is to know about Access already, go watch my beginner class. Trust me, I cover a lot of fundamentals that even some people who've been using Access for years don't know. I've got, I get lots of emails from people, so go watch this. Now, auto numbers are used to provide a unique primary key field for each record in the table. You might have a dozen customers named James and even a few named James Kirk, but you'll only have one customer ID two. Okay, only one customer ID four, for example. These unique numbers are so that you know exactly and unambiguously which record you're dealing with, right? If I say go open James Kirk's record, you have four of them. But if I say go open customer number two, you know exactly who customer number two is. Now, also very important is that these auto numbers are used by access to form relationships between multiple tables, such as customers and orders, students and what classes they're enrolled in products and what vendor you buy them for all right relationships between your tables you the user should not care what these numbers are they could be set to random numbers and it wouldn't make a difference to access how the database operates and yes that's actually an option you can set auto numbers to be random numbers the auto numbers are not for you you shouldn't care about them whether it's five six seven eight two million and four whatever you shouldn't care. Access cares. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. One more time for everybody in the back row. Auto numbers are not for you. Now, one important thing about auto numbers is that everyone always complains about they're not necessarily sequential. Yeah, by default, they'll start at one and they'll count up. However, if you delete a record, which I don't recommend you do, but if you do, or if another user starts to add a, a record and then cancels adding it, you may have gaps in your auto number sequence. Okay? Again, this should not matter. Don't rely on them being sequential. A lot of people email me. They're trying to keep you know track of their orders. They want them sequential. No, don't rely on auto numbers for that. Now, I generally recommend you don't delete records at all especially important pieces of data like customers or orders, you should mark them inactive or canceled instead. I've got a video on that. Go watch that one. And yes, if you accidentally delete a record, you can get the auto number back, but you got to play a trick to do it. I got a separate video on that as well. This would be something like where you accidentally delete a customer and he's got a whole bunch of orders in the system and contacts and other things that are related to that record. You can restore the auto number. There's a way to do it. But if you want sequential numbers for any things like orders or customers or whatever, if you want sequential numbers, you've got to create your own order number field. Don't use an auto number for that. And I've got a video that shows you how to set that up too. There it is, counter video. All right. Now, for some things, you may not want customers seeing auto numbers. For example, your orders, your order numbers. If you have an order number 101 and then, you know, a month later they get order number 104, then they know that you've only had two other orders in the meantime. That brings up something called the German tank problem that I talk about in one of my other videos where the Allies were able to tell exactly how many tanks the Germans had in World War II because they would capture old parts and they would see what the serial numbers on the parts were. So, bottom line is, for some things you might want sequential numbers, for other things you don't want them. So you don't want your customers seeing all your auto numbers. Now, sometimes you do want to display a count like if you want to display a count of the products that are listed on an order, for example, or the students in a class, I show you how to set that up with record numbering. There's another video to go watch. Don't use an auto number for that. Another thing with auto numbers, people always ask me if they should use a natural number as their primary key, like a social security number or a vehicle identification number, that kind of thing. I always say you should use an auto number for that. I got another great video, auto numbers, good or bad. It's got lots of reasons why you should use auto numbers. And some reasons why you might not want to, but watch that video too. 
And then other people have emailed me and say, well, if auto numbers, are, you don't want people seeing them, if they're so bad to be visible, why do you teach them in your beginner classes? Well, because it's easier for beginners to get that, an auto number. Just, it starts at one and just counts up. But in my later classes, I do show you how to hide those things. Hide the customer number, hide the order number, right? It's easier. We got to walk before we run, right, folks? Okay. But the bottom line is those auto numbers, they're not for you. Don't worry what they are. You could have customer number six. You could be customer number 14. All right. Those auto numbers are for making relationships, right? Relationships between tables and doing things like opening up a specific customer from a customer list. All right. And those are things that Access cares about. You can hide that customer ID completely. And the, and the, the workings of the database will make absolutely no difference. Okay. If you want a custom order number, make your own. If you want sequential record numbering, make your own. And I got videos that show you how to do all that stuff. It's all on my website, accesslearningzone.com. I will put links to all of these videos that you can click on. It'll be down below in the description below the video. So go down there and click on them. Go watch all these other videos. And now when anyone asks me anything about auto numbers, I'm just pointing them to this and saying, they're not for you. <laughs> watch this video. <laughs> Okay, I get the same questions every day. All right, I love you guys. I hope you learned something. We'll see you soon.